Graphs and charts are essential to any PowerPoint presentation. I want to show you great techniques how to present your data properly. Let us prepare an interesting graph and outline a few most important informations out of it. For this, I go to Insert, I select Chart, and I choose the chart I would like to use. In this case, I will go for a line chart. I press OK, and the chart is already inside. I think we need only two series. Let's maybe add years here. And we will work with Egypt. In this case, we'll work with Egypt and Argentina, and we'll select a few years here. I can close it down, and the graph is basically inside the presentation already. Now let's change the look and feel of the graph a little bit. As we see, Argentina is an orange one and Egypt is the blue one. We need to change this to the color we had before. So I first go to this little plus sign and I want to get rid of the legend because I won't be needing it and I don't want the title either. I make the graph a little bit smaller. I position it on the left and I can go deeper into the editing. Editing chart is just as easy as editing any other object. I just click on the chart, I go to right, and I go to format axis. I can change between axis and everything else here. By the plot area, the chart area, I can manage everything step by step. I, for example, click on those lines. I go to the bucket and I would like them to be dashed. So I select the dash and they have changed their looks. Now I select the next item, I go to text options and I change its color to a lighter one. I do the same for the vertical one. I select the gray color and we are close to be done. I would for example like to have little ticks standing out between the ears because it will be better visible. So I simply click here and I have the axis options. I search for the right options and these are tick marks. So I want an interval of one because I want one tick each year and I just go inside. I do the same for the second one. I select the axis options, I go to tick marks and I make them inside once again. The last step will be matching of course the colors. I simply click on the line and as you see here on the right I have the series options. I go to the bucket, I select the color and I want the Argentina color from before. I do the same for Egypt. I select the yellow one and this is where people usually stop at graph editing. There are still many upgrades possible so let's do one of them. I go to insert, I select a shape and I make a little rectangle. This will be the most important values I want to present in this graph. So I just take in 3500, for example. I go to Home. I change it once again to Open Sense. I select the rectangle. And of course, I get rid of the outline. Let's make it just a bit smaller and place it here above. I copy it around. I place it here and I change its color to the yellow one we used before. Well, the text is a little bit bad visible, so I could, for example, go to Morphle Colors and make it a bit darker. Of course, I change the value to 2000. And we can present those most important informations here on the right side. Let's also make a separator. For that, I just go back to our slide. I steal one and I place it on the right. I make it a bit bigger to match the graph size and OK. Now I want to copy those values and make them really big, make them stand out. I copy both of these and I place them on the right side. I want those informations to be really, really big, so I select the drawing tools, I go to shape fill, I go no fill, so only the text is remaining. Well, 
maybe I can find it now. Okay, it's there. I go to the text, I choose the eyedropper, and I take this color. Let's also make it bigger and bold. I copy it. Maybe I delete this one. I select this color and also change the number. We also want little text boxes under it. I make it a bit smaller. I copy it. I remove the bold. I make it gray and I make it smaller. Let me copy this two times and adjust the text a bit. I made the text a little bit smaller and one last element I would like to add is simply an arrow. An arrow will indicate if the values have grown or failed. So I simply go to shapes I select an arrow. With the shift key I hold it down, I change the weight, Even I go even to more lines and I work with the width. I want it to be really really fat so people immediately know what I want to say here. This already looks promising. I just copy it because this value did fail. I go to drawing tools, I go to shape outline. I choose the A dropper and of course change the colors. I shift everything a bit to the right. I change this arrow to be top. I've changed a few colors to be even more consistent with the design we, we had previous and the coloristic of the countries we used. I won't go into the animations right now because I believe you already know how to use animation that you can select every object you can exempt for example you can group objects, you can animate them with any animation you want. You simply hit this box and go to more entrance effects. You could also use the em emphasis effect. There are not so much of them and they are not looking so great. So I recommend you using the entrance effects to, to introduce people to informations one after another. I hope this slide will really help you design beautiful graphs and I will design one more slide which will be about graphs. If you would like to know how I approach this animation on this slide, let me show it quickly to you. As you see, I've deleted the animations for the top and I make the graph to fade in. And since people are already used to this presentation, they know probably something here on the right is appearing, especially because we have this line here. And as you see, I'm talking on, I could talk you through the statistic of Argentina and I would summarize this information by showing that this was a huge grow by the year 2014. The same goes for Egypt. I would show the information, I would talk about it, and later on I would conclude saying to people that this is a huge loss in this year. So this is how I would present this slide and approach those animations.